first of all, I need to take it back to when uh, In Living Color was on, and thank you for putting me on television. Okay, wait, hold up. Oh. Wait. <laughs> I have to say that when I first thought it out In Living Color, I came up with the idea, I went to Keenan, I said, can we put music acts at the closing of the show? He said, great, go ahead and do it. So I had to do all the work. Not one record company executive would give me a viable act. Mm -hmm. And we put someone on and it didn't go well because he wasn't well known. And I was with Rhonda Cowan Rhonda, and, oh, your, Rhonda. and your manager, Shaquem, uh -huh. and I was like, nobody wants to go on the show. He said, they're fools. I'll put La on the phone, uh, on the show. And I was like, for real? And you came on the show. And after she came on the show, she blew up so big. She blew up our segment. <laughs> Not that. Not that. Yes. Yeah. Every, then, then people were begging me to put them on the show after your performance. It was that stellar. So thank you. Thank you. you. That was so cool. It, it was. That was something that was like hard for us to do. You know, we were young hip hop artists, and it was hard for us to find avenues like that, especially on national television. Yeah, nobody was doing it except uh, your MTV raps. Uh, MTV raps, maybe Ar Arsenio. Thank goodness yes. he would put us on sometimes. But they were they didn't even recognize us as real as as not being a fad at that time. So that was like a big, big, major step for us. And you choreographed the Fly Girls, yeah. and everybody wanted to learn the dances that the Fly Girls <laughs> did that week. You were so instrumental to that show being. What it was. Oh. You had that thing jumping. Oh. Yeah.